Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are multiplying fractions. When you multiply fractions, it's the simplest thing that you can do with fractions. I always say it's the most straightforward thing you can do because you literally go straight forward. You multiply straight across. In this case, I have 5 over 23 times 3 over 2. I'm going to multiply the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. That's how you multiply fractions. 5 times 3 is 15, 23 times 2 is 46. There we go. I've now multiplied the fractions. Now with all multiplying and all fraction stuff we ever do, we want to simplify if needed. In this case, our fractions already in simplest form, so we don't need to do anything else. That is it for this fraction. Again, multiplying is the easiest thing to do. It's the easiest operation to do with fractions. Let's try. 5 over 12 times 2 over 3. Multiply straight across. So I've got 5 times 2, 12 times 3. Now you don't have to do this step where I write it out with a 5 times 2 and 12 times 3. If you recognize that you're multiplying and you just want to do that in the first step and go straight to this 10 over 36, that's fine. But I like to write it out just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, in this case, we will need to simplify. If you've done simplifying of fractions before, you know the steps. If not, here are the steps for you. But this is not a lesson on simplifying fractions, so I'm not going to go over these in depth. Anyway, I will go over them kind of briefly, though. We list the factors of both numbers, identify our greatest common factor. That's the largest number in both lists, which is 2. We divide both the top and bottom of the fraction by that greatest common factor, and there's our final answer, 5 over 18. All right, I want you to try it out. Try solving this using multiplication. Remember to multiply straight across and simplify your answer. 3, 2, 1, go! All right, it's time for me to show you what I do. Multiply straight across. I'm going to write it out like this for this step, and then multiply. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 7 is 28. I will simplify by listing my factors, identifying that 2 is my greatest common factor. I'm going to divide the numerator and denominator by 2, and that leaves me with my, great, my fraction in lowest terms of 1 over 14. I went over that really quick because I asked you to do it. So this is, should just be checking your work. All right, now I'm going to slow things down for the next question because I'm dealing with some larger numbers. I'm going to show you a quick trick of what I do when I'm dealing with larger numbers. First off, you multiply straight across. That's no, no surprise. We're multiplying 3 times 10 to get 30, and 5 times 21 gives us 105. When we're asked to simplify now, we want to... Instead of listing all the factors of 105 and 30, those are big numbers. Instead, I'm going to look for any obvious factors. I know that this numbers end in a 0 and a 5. So I know 5 is a factor of both 30 and 105. It's probably not the greatest common factor, but it is a common factor. So I can divide both the top and bottom by 5, and that simplifies the fraction. It is not in lowest terms yet, but I've made it easier and gotten rid of those big numbers, which is what I was trying to do. So now I will list the factors, identify that 3 is my greatest common factor, divide both by 3, and now I have my fraction in simplest form or in lowest terms. That's the step. That extra step of using an obvious factor to simplify is a really great thing to do when you're dealing with larger numbers. Just make sure that you don't stop after you find the first factor because there's probably going to be more factors the larger the numbers you get. All right, last practice. I want you to try this one out. Pause the video, try it out, get your answer, and then come back and I will show you how I solved this one. We'll see if we did it the same way. Go for it. All right, are you back? Did you do it? Because I'm going to go through this pretty quick. First, we multiply straight across. 9 times 5 is 45. 15 times 27 is 405. And those are some big numbers. So I'm going to simplify. 
Now, I can see that both numbers, 45 and 405, end with a 5. So for me, that's an obvious factor. I'm going to divide both of them by 5, and that leaves me with 9 over 81. Perfect. That is great. That works out for me really, really well because I know the factors of 9 and I know the factors of 81. So I can list those factors, identify that 9 is my greatest common factor, and I'll divide both by 9 for my final answer. This could look different for you. You might have identified something different. Maybe you listed all the factors at 45 and 405. That's up to you. But this was a quick trick to help make it a little bit quicker for you. Couple of takeaways, multiplying fractions is multiplying straight across. Make sure you always simplify your fractions. Fractions need to be in simplest form. I hope that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.